Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here and welcome back to Helium Rain. In today's video I want to give you guys a little bit of an overview of what I've been doing with the game and uh, what I took a look at. So number one, that's a little bit of a surprise to me, there does seem to be uh, like a, a main story thread. Uh, I've done a couple of these contracts which is of course uh, a very nice way to introduce sort of a quest line uh, in the game itself. It's called Pendulum at the moment and I basically had to go to the Spire actually. I'll, I'll show it to you guys. We'll quickly take a trip to the Spire um, and uh, then I'll show you guys what was happening there. So once we're here we can take a look at it and you can see this this building over there um, or this this uh, structure with that massive asteroid that's attached uh, with a major spire. You had to uh, I take a look at it, you had to inspect it basically, uh, which was well a little bit different uh, from what I've been doing other in the game, which was mostly just uh, VIP contracts in order to earn some um, some credits. Yeah, you had to get uh, to a very specific spot, look at a very specific spot on that structure. And then you had to do that eight times in order to inspect it. After that, I had to do a research, which was, I think, orbital pumps or something like that. Um, yeah, orbital pumps. Now, if you follow the uh, early contracts and you have a research station, it's just going to keep pumping research points for you. So no major problems uh, there to get uh, that technology. And then next, I actually have to do something a little bit different. Let's take a quick look. Um, you've acquired the blueprints for a new orbital extractor. This is huge. Two things are still needed. Construction resources and a massive counterweight for the space elevator. Build a telescope station to help find a good sector. Um, so that's pretty important. Right now I need to build an orbital telescope, but I've also been trying to earn some uh, credits in the meantime. And uh, well, I've got a water trade route that is working nicely, 43 credits a day. It's been in the green uh, ever since I started it on the plastics route that is still not working out, but it's it's slowly decreasing. It used to be like minus 10 and minus 5, minus 4. So I do think that eventually uh, your trade routes will be okay. I'm just going to let that one do its thing and hope that at some point it gets into green. But I have a big problem as well uh, at the moment. And I think here it does show, uh, if you look at this, uh, at this orbital map, You've got a certain number of systems, you've got a certain number of corporations, and you've got an economy that is basically uh, limited to these uh, four, eight, and then here we've got two, four, six, seven, eight, so that's 16, and then two, I'm assuming, pirate, um, pirate sectors. It's not that big, it, there's not that much room, and the problem is I've got uh, several stations like here in Shore of Ice. I've got two ice mining stations. I thought start at the bottom, right? Uh, try to get some basic resources in the economy. There's always going to be uh, a room for that. But yeah, I'm lacking steel here. I'm lacking steel here. Then I'm going here in the farm where I have the research station that's working, but I'm also, that was my response to finding this problem out. Again, look, I've got no steel. And uh, yeah, this is, this is a problem here in this economy at the moment. I just don't have enough steel to uh, do anything about it. And if I look for it, if we get steel, 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 there we go. Very handy window that must be set. You can see that uh, there's production in Lighthouse, in Miner's Home, in the Deaths and in the Forge. But the stocks, the stocks are all at zero. So I have no way at the moment of really getting through that, that, that bottleneck that exists, which is that this economy uh, for steel is, is too small. There's not enough production. There's too much um, happening. Um, when it comes to the demand side and yeah this is this is a real problem uh, that i'm not sure how to fix at this point except maybe really grind things out and and wait for um wait for steel to pop up somewhere try to be the first one to snag it or something like that now in the meantime let's also quickly do uh, a nor uh, couple more of uh, of these contracts so that i can at least get started on building the um the observatory, which is uh, which is my next my next goal, actually, um, aside of uh, building up the rest of those facilities, I think if I can get my own steel factory going, obviously that should be a pretty good passive income as well. And uh, yeah, the trade routes. I mean, you go for company, then you've got uh, these trade routes like plastics. It's 
decently intuitive, uh, but finding one that is in the green is, is not that easy. Actually, I've been trying many different trade routes uh, in order to get this one to work. And uh, no, the water one is pretty obvious, but the rest not. I personally think that uh, my other plan, which is of course to go for structures that then produce and add stuff in the economy makes more sense uh, than uh, going for a massive trading fleet because and that's uh, really one of the small problems that i'm seeing with helium rain at the moment the economy does seem to be rather small and so uh, you can run into problems because of that uh, i am going to at this point um, you know compare this to the, what i'm expecting with x4 foundation which is uh, surprisingly enough coming out on november 30th already this year i don't think a lot of people expected that to be this soon uh, but yeah there you'll have multiple races you'll have multiple independent economies that will then have trade routes potentially uh, it's just going to be so much bigger that i don't think you'll run into this particular problem uh, that there is a resource I need to uh, improve and there is just none available uh, in the game at the moment. There's just a tiny bit of production but so much demand for it that uh, yeah, that I, I'm, I'm a little bit stuck because even now for that observatory, it's not just credits, credits I'm also going to need uh, 100 uh, steel in order to make that and there just isn't enough around. So uh, it's an interesting conundrum. Um, I still think that the game is pretty fun, especially if you never played this kind of a genre, but you're interested in that. This actually has uh, the uh, smaller scale that works as an advantage then, because you can uh, take your time, get to learn all of those mechanics and, uh, and basically get acquainted with this kind of a space simulation uh, that, uh, that I personally do enjoy although it is pretty grindy at the moment. So uh, that's another contract finished. It puts me at 60,000 credits. And uh, another thing that I learned in the meantime as well, if you go uh, into an, a different system, uh, contracts for that system will pop up and they're always below. The new ones are always below. So if you're looking to quickly chain some nice VIP contracts, which is what I've been doing, I think it's like doesn't impact the economy too much they can do their own thing and you're just creating credits for yourself such as here go for the lowest one or the lower ones with the best uh, rewards press accept you can do track and then you'll always find or almost always find that the system you're in is a system where your first docking needs to happen and there you go off we are to pick up the VIP, go to another uh, system and do the same there. So it's really a nice way of, of chaining some, um, some contracts. It gets you a decent amount of credits decently quickly and you can set up for your next goal, which as I've said is on the one hand an observatory, on the other hand try to um, get my hands on some steel, which yeah, it's not going to be easy. Um, yeah, usage, even here you can see now Look at all the usage that there is across these systems compared to this production. Um, even here locally, the forge is actually using a lot of this. So net is going to be pretty difficult in order to uh, to grab those those uh, resources. We'll see if I can manage to do that or not. But I must also admit at this point, I am personally super super excited for X4 Foundation, um, and uh, yeah, I think that maybe that'll uh you know limit my own patience with uh, with helium rain uh, but we'll see how that works out so here we get another contract completed now i need to go to shore of ice where i have two stations as well and uh yeah that's uh, that's gonna be another quick 7500 credits once i dock so this is really the contract grind. You know, you can find a very easy way to do that. And just remember, if you're looking for a new contract to do, try to grab the lower ones because you'll usually uh, find that you'll need to dock uh, in the same system that you find yourself in. Another quick note, something that I encountered here. It's in fact here in Shore of Ice. You can see that one of these has been damaged and operates 10 times slower. We had a sort of an asteroid uh, that uh, dropped by and uh, could probably have stopped that if I had military ships, which I don't. Um, and I'm not sure at this point, I'm trying to upgrade that and hope that it also repairs the station. But I haven't really found out how you can actually repair one of these stations. Uh, hopefully I don't need to scrap it or anything like that. Although maybe scrapping it gives me steel uh, so that I could get to work on something else. We'll see how uh, that works out as well. Do I, in fact, I think I also have an orbital uh, plant that should be, yeah, um, 
let's see, is it this? No, that's the steelworks. So it's not here, but it's here in blue heart that I have solar power plant. And again, I need a hundred uh, steel because the tutorials told me to upgrade that to level two. And again, you need all of those resources. So interesting situation that I find myself in, uh, but let's quickly go for a blue heart. And uh, we'll also, considering that I've got a decent chunk of credits at this point, uh, we will also dock up to a shipyard. Shipyard dock and uh, get started on something else that we need to do, which is the combat tutorial. Uh, it's been said that you should prepare for war while you pray for peace. Have a fighter built for you at a shipyard. And uh, that's maybe one thing that I can still explore, right? All At the moment, I've done everything in trade ships, build up my own infrastructure, which I, I feel you can do pretty easy, pretty easily and pretty quickly. I'm pretty proud of having all of these structures already. Once I can get them to work, uh, that should be a decent passive income uh, that uh, should start to be pumped out. And the other side, of course, is combat, which I haven't explored just yet. But let's order a fighter and see how that works. So I think we'll go here. Um, I'm docked by ship. Order a light ship. And we can order a heavy fighter. Orca fighter bomber. Ghoul is a fighter built for infiltration electron, but has shown to be capable of much more. Two gun slots, 10 combat value, six gun slots. Man, I'm just gonna go straight for a phalanx, I think. Or would I should I follow the tutorial and just uh, buy a ghoul? Let's take a quick look at what it says exactly. Contracts. Have a fighter. That's all that really matters, apparently, that I have a fighter. Okay, so we are here. We're going to buy a ship. Uh, I'm going to go straight for the phalanx then. Let's confirm that, uh, which unfortunately might need steel as well. So we'll see. No, no ships are in construction. So hopefully um, 32 days in queue. Which is quite a long time but yeah that's definitely something that will work on as well in the meantime fuel delivery fuel delivery here is uh, a transport it's up a little bit so that one might not be here oh one thing you shouldn't forget keep tracking what you actually want to do yeah it's actually here in blue heart very good let's go dock here and what I do like is that while you're grinding out your contracts, you can constantly keep an eye on everything else as well. For instance, I want to keep an eye on uh, stocks starting to build up for steel, which just isn't happening at the moment. But who knows? Um, worldwide balance. Look at that. Minus 24 a day. There is definitely not enough. And uh, my, my priority should be my own steel production, I think. Um... The rest is that, yeah, that's positive, that's positive. So that is something that you can definitely use as well to decide on what you want to produce yourself. Man, fleet supplies look like uh, could be interesting for a trade route as well. But yeah, steel is suffering, plastics is still positive, helium as well. That's quite positive. Methane as well. I'm just going to go over all of this. Yep. And iron oxide. I actually have one mine, but apparently we'll need more of that. Same for silica. And then water is uh, doing quite well, especially since I have two of these facilities myself. So next we need to go to the farm. Let's travel and fast forward and just hope that at some point, of course, the... Um, the steel problem takes care of itself. I also want to show two more things here um, for the construction of these uh, of these uh, stations. You don't have to haul all of that stuff yourself, but the bottleneck stuff will just be brought very slowly by the NPCs. So uh, most of it actually gets brought in by NPCs, no problem. You do need the credits, of course, to buy that stuff. And the second thing is here and there, like um, here in the farm, you'll find those really large structures. Uh, be careful then when you jump to, uh, uh, when you try to dock uh, right away to something else within the same system. So we'll we'll try to show that here. 
so i would dock this is normally you can see that on the bottom right going to finish my contract contract successful got some extra credits that's good i'll look for something else at the moment i don't have anything uh, that looks like a VIP. So what I would actually do here is jump to another system, look for a VIP uh, one. But just in case, let's say that you grab a VIP one and then you need to dock somewhere else. Well, if it's on the right, then the uh, autopilot is going to put you in trouble. And so then just right click and, and uh, get away. This is something that you have to be aware of. You can't like fully AFK uh, these, um, these mission chains because as you could see here, it is now uh, telling me to go to the other side of this structure and uh, the autopilot wants to go just straight through that, which is a bit of a problem. Luckily, those individual small stations that you built don't have that problem. Uh, but here in the farm, I know that uh, I, uh, you know, bumped into stuff uh, a couple of times because I wasn't paying attention. And so now you could always press dock and go over there that way so also something to uh, to keep in mind you can't just rely on i'm gonna press dock 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 in the same system um, especially in something like the farm you gotta be a little bit careful for that so let's maybe quickly actually travel to the lighthouse you can always interrupt that and then the autopilot will get you there uh, safely that's not a problem you can look for more contracts here's a vip always look at the bottom start tracking that and then you will find normally that it's local and you start out somewhere within the system to go and pick up um, or to start your docking run on another station and these are smaller so much uh, better to maneuver around anyways yeah that's my progress in helium rain at the moment uh, we'll see how it works out for the steel problem the military stuff and the main campaign uh, but yeah honestly it just feels like uh, the the scope of it is uh, potentially having a prop uh, some problems here and there when it comes to that economy and uh, uh, yeah with x4 this close um, that may just be uh, a jump that i'll do pretty soon meteorite group threatening a miner's home which is where miner's home here and i have a station in miner's home <laughs> we'll see if that gets hit as well let's just fast forward and complete that contract uh, but for now that's it for this one guys thank you very much for watching i'll see you all next time